don't make nobody intimidate you into feeling like you're not good enough to be an engineer. If you feel, don't make nobody make you feel like, yo, engineering is not for you. Because engineering is not for geniuses. Engineering is not for people who are perfect. Engineering is just for people who, are, who want to work hard, who are willing to work hard, and who want to put in the effort. Because they're not perfect people do engineering. So, hi guys, um, I just wanted to thank you all for getting me to 500 YouTube subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just please click the subscribe button below. Um, so today's video will be about um, some college tips or advice that I'd like to give to college students who are pursuing engineering. And some are also applicable for other college majors. My, the, the, main, the biggest advice I can give is for the work a lot of questions because really and truly engineering is predominantly math and physics calculations is minimum chemistry or anything else <laughs> what i used to tell myself with math that helped me to really be successful in engineering math was that i always conditioned my mind about math i always tell myself that math is easy and it's just switching math to throw the numbers so once i get the the, the principle behind the the calculation or the theory I can do any question. For me, tell yourself that you really are going to see math differently. Condition your mind, like tell yourself that. Tell yourself that until you believe it. Trick your mind into believing that math is easy then. Tell yourself that, yo, math is just numbers that they must switch in. So in the tutorial, they put two. In the exam, they put three. Them just switch the numbers at the same. And once you follow the math rule, you can't go wrong. So if you take that kind of um, approach to math, then you realize you will be successful. You will be more successful in doing engineering math. In university, I remember Xavier was my teacher. Xavier is like an excellent math teacher. Like he literally break down everything for you. Like him show you every single step. He not assume say you know say one plus one equal two. Him literally write out everything. So I always like love his math class. I'm always appreciate the way how him teach. So basically, what I would do really is to try to complete as much as a tutorial as possible before I go to the next math class because in the next tutorial class tutorial session you would basically be going through the calculations so if you're not do any other tutorial basically you read just like you're just a catch-up I play catch-up in the tutorial class so I realized that when I did the tutorials before I went to the tutorial class that kind of caused me to like go learn better it caused me to understand better what was really happening in the tutorial classes. As an engineering student, one of the best way to succeed as engineering is to do a lot of questions. Work as much questions as you possibly can. More than you do even like reading sometimes because at the end of the day, majority of the, the exams are based around calculations. So you have to do as much question as possible. Next thing, try to get involved with your teacher. Try to as much as possible have a good relationship with your lecturers because at the end of the day they are the ones that you need the information from and you need for really break down stuff to you what i did was in uh, when i was doing engineering math three i remember I, I used to spend a lot of time with my lecturer i literally went down to her office and brought my book and my tutorial sheet and i would have my calculator and just sit down and work the whole tutorial in front of her like all the time and Basically, this guy not just put me at a different level when it come to math because I wanted to really my desire was to get an A in engineering math three because I got an A in the other two. I got a B in the other in engineering math one and math two. So I wanted to just get an A in math three, and I did get an A in math three. But how it happened was because me really go at the lecture at the lecture office and me literally sit down and work, mature some work every single tutorial question. And she was very supportive. I don't even remember what her name was, but she was very supportive. And she literally allowed me to just sit down and work with her. Some other lecturers are like that. And um, especially at UTEC, I don't think the lecturers, I think the what what work what um is actually good for UTEC students is that the 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 kind of relationship between lecturer and student is not so far and wide. You basically you're able to have a closer relationship with their with the lecturers at UTEC. And a lot of them, they are willing to really help you one on one with stuff, and they are easily accessible. So you can go to them office, you can find them, and you can work with some of them. If you know other students who did engineering, try and get some material from them. And then nowadays, you have a lot of information online. So get the information and work the questions. You know, one of the things that I realized that I learned for myself 
was that people tend to think that engineering is for people who are super smart, like some genius and all that. You don't have to be super smart to do an engineer. All you need to do is just be committed, dedicated to work hard and put in the hours. So the next advice I'll give to engineering students is put in the hours. You can't avoid it. Spend the time. I know say you yeah, spend the four years to get your, a bit, the best kind of degree that you can get with whatever honors or whatever, but the best kind of university degree that you can get. So if it means that you have to go like live a restricted life within that time, cut out the partying and the wildness and all of that, do it because at the end of the day, you know, say I get a degree. At the end of the day, you're getting a degree for your effort. In order to be successful at engineering, you have to be willing to be committed to do the work and to work hard. So what I, I wasn't like the most smartest of person i was like the most brilliant person but the only the, what set me apart was that i was committed to doing it and work hard more work hard i'm gonna try my best at all times to really see what work for me and put in the effort and go the extra mile for get the information and for understand stuff and all of that so it's not like some of the time everything come easy and like me did figure out everything and like all of the topics then some topics did hard and whatever but at the end of the day, what really caused me to really be successful in getting my degree was the fact that I stuck to it. And even like some of my friends, them like, I remember when we had, like, we have exam and all of that. Like some of them would have been like, Kim, I can't bother, I just feel like I quit, I feel like I switch over to a next, me, a next degree, I can't make it and all that. But I would just encourage them through that time that, you know what, just put in the work. If you feel like something, you know what I mean, say you're a failure and that let me say you have to quit. Because a lot of persons, even though that are super successful, even as engineers, they failed some courses, they failed at things too. But the, the difference is that they never quit, they never give up, but they just keep on trying harder. They just keep on going next time. If you fail, don't quit. Just pay for your course and do it over and keep on going. I remember in first year, a lecturer told us about oh if I, if you can't pass this i think probably was engineering tools if you can't pass engineering tools that mean you, you weren't really made to be an engineer no it wasn't engineering it was elementary principles of chemical engineering epoch so there was that if you can't pass epoch that means that you were not meant to be an engineer and i remember even one of my friends failed at it, that course and him still end up turning on i still get an answer so and he's an excellent engineer so you can't listen to people you can't make people tell you a bag of things you might falter in a certain stuff and you might not be the brightest on certain topics but that doesn't mean that you can't be an engineer engineering is just about it's just like any other course that takes effort and time putting in the time and just being committed to know that hey may i go stick to this thing just have that kind of attitude they say i will stick to it and you will just follow through to completion. So even if you fail at one course, even if you do poorly at one course, that doesn't mean that engineering is not for you. And that doesn't mean that you should give up. Just never quit. Just keep on working hard and no say, yeah, go complete this thing and you'll get your degree. Don't make nobody make you feel like you need to be super smart, you need to be genius. Because a lot of people that even that I realized that's when I just started to do engineering in my class. Remember, I went to Clarendon College. And mind you, there are lots of students that came, started doing engineering, and they were like from some really elite schools across Jamaica. And I was like, damn, like serious competition, or like see them to near really bright, like I can't go keep up or whatever. But at the end of the day, some persons they come to university and then waste time, them getting up all kind of bad company, all kind of things. So at the end of the day, and just you being focused and coming and knowing what you want and just going hard for what you want. Not really look for what the next person is doing. I don't really pay attention to how much um, ones and twos in Cape Physics they came with or whatever their GPA was in. Um, what they call it something like pre-engineering or whatever. Don't look at that. Just go with the attitude that you're going to be focused and you're going to work hard and you're going to be committed to completing your engineering don't make nobody intimidate you into feeling like you're not good enough to know an engineer if you feel don't make nobody make you feel like yo engineering is not for you 
because engineering is not for geniuses engineering is not for people who are perfect engineering is just for people who are who want to work hard who are willing to work hard and who want to put in the effort because in a perfect people the engineering is just regular human beings who have an attitude or a mind to be creative and to build this thing is to use up your resources no nowadays everything is on youtube so all you have to do really is find youtube video videos that um bring across a simplified version to complex topics so if there's a topic that you're struggling with or whatever see if you can find any youtube video any online session or tutorial on that topic so that you can get help the thing is not to sit with your problems and expect them to be resolved when you go classes if you don't understand what the teacher is saying a lot of time i realize especially with engineering students is that because it's a whole engineering thing nobody really want to put up my hand and look stupid i feel like oh i'm not that smart ask question because majority of the time the same children that you're sitting with them don't even understand they're not following them don't even understand themselves so in the class done just because of your pride and whatever and i faltered in this because i'm the kind of shy i feel i put up my hand in front of everybody and ask questions all them while instead but at the end of the day you pay your money you deserve to understand at the end of the day what the teacher is teaching go to the lecturer follow up behind the lecturer run behind the lecturer and get the information and the explanation that you need because what what i i realized that in the beginning i used to like just go to classes that if you understand something that's like oh when we go home you look at it but then when you go home you go to the next class and you understand something again and you go home you wait to go home for understand everything like everything i go just pile up on you that's the next thing with engineering it has a way of just the information and the material just piling up on you because it's like so much material in such a short time you learn everything and it can just become right really saturated in order for ease the whole transition for learning and then going to the exam try to make sure you understand as much as possible from in another class and if not in another class make sure you say you go follow up with a teacher on whatever topics you're not clear on and make sure you get the information and you understand clearly what was being taught people who are successful at anything they're not necessarily smarter they just spend more time on the problems and they're just more committed to fixing problems <laughs>